Hello and welcome to this quick look of the CO2 gas sensor. The CO2 gas sensor measures the concentration of CO2 in the air as it passes through the snout. And you can see the holes here for that. Um, at one end of the snout we have a light that's going to be shining about once per second and when it's on you'll see that it actually flashes about once per second. Um, it's going to be passing through the snout here and it's going to go to a narrow pass filter at this end and through that narrow pass filter to a thermal pile at the far end. That thermal pile will measure uh, the amount of light that's coming through here at that narrow range and uh, the CO2 that passes through here will absorb some portion of that light and that's how we get the concentration of CO2 in the air. One of the things we need to do when you're using the CO2 is calibrate it. You can see it has a calibrate button on it. To do that I would normally go outside and I'd get a sample of fresh air in this bottle that comes with the sensor. I would stick the sensor into there to trap that air and then I would go ahead and bring it in and connect it to my interface. So I'm going to go ahead and use the extension cable to do that. And we'll connect that to the interface. And this also powers the sensor. So once it's powered up and it's nice and warm between 30 and 60 seconds, we're going to go ahead and push the calibrate button. And what you'll see is that light goes solid. And uh, that light will remain solid for between 30 and 60 seconds uh, to get a good average of the sample that's in the bottle. Once it's done that, it's going to associate that sample with 400 parts per million, and that is in fact marked on the sensor here. When it's all done and it is blinking once again, we're going to go ahead and take that out of there. And now we can use it to do a variety of different experiments. We could place samples back in the bottle here and take a look at the CO2 change over time. Uh, we could go ahead and take this out in the field and look at the exhaust coming from cars. We could put this in a bag using the extension cable here and have students breathe into it to get the CO2 concentration in their breath. Uh, it's a great sensor for biology. Um, when you're using it, you want to make sure that you, um, when you're connected into a sample bottle, this is not a, a tight seal. Uh, there is a little bit of room for um, air to move back and forth through there. So if you're evolving a gas or something like that, it is going to seep out slightly. So just be aware of that. Um, the other thing to be aware of, if you're using the sensor, if you have a bright light shining down onto the sensor where the um, sensor is trying to take a reading, you could get a false reading there. So always try and keep that away from bright lights. And other than that, it's a great sensor to use for biology, and I think you have a great time with it. Don't forget to practice safe science.